I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Gemini, the recent past energy between you and your person, Four of Wands, and it's with judgment. Now, Four of Wands, it often indicates that you could be attending some kind of special event, one which will be way more fun than you're anticipating. So go, you have a good time. If you have a business, it's likely to be going very well at this time. You'll be proud of yourself and others will be proud of you. Also, although this is a very positive card in the tarot, it does show that there's a need to keep your wits about you. Although you deserve and should treat yourself to some fun, but just know you're probably still in a building up phase and now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. This Four of Wands can also indicate that you could be thinking about moving or changing your place of residence. Now it's with Judgment card, which can be a card about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and of course judgments that are made too hastily. And if you're prone to doing such things, this could be a sign to slow down. Give things more thought, give people more chances. This can also be a time of spiritual awakening. So, what I'm getting, Gemini, for this recent past energy between you and your person, Four of Wands, clarified by judgment, well, this is telling me that you were ready for commitment from your person. Because the Four of Wands can be about long term. <clears throat> it can be about marriage. It can be about commitment. Um, this is the marriage and commitment card. 1111. So you were ready for something serious. If it wasn't marriage, you just wanted the connection to become um, more committed, or just even if it just went to the next level. But your person, they didn't give it to you. What they, what they did give you was a lot of judgment. Yeah. They passed a lot of judgment on you or about you. Uh, they jumped to a lot of conclusions about things. Um, yeah, their decisions were made very, very hastily, and this person that you're, you're dealing with, they had a hard time offering forgiveness. They would expect you to forgive them when they mess up, but this person, no. They, they had a hard time forgiving, and then, like I said, they're the very, very judgmental type. They pass judgment really easily, easily. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's what you were dealing with. This recent past energy, that's what the energy was for a lot of you, Gemini's, for you and your person. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We got this Ten of Pentacles, and it's with the High Priestess. Now, the Ten of Pentacles, it says that you have a great deal to be thankful for, your relationships of all kinds, finance, your health, all these things should be going really, really well when you get the Ten of Pentacles. You might need to consider how you got to such a happy situation. Make the best of it. Be sure to share what you have, even if it's only a kind word spoken to someone in need, because we get back what we give out. <clears throat> yeah, so 
Ten of Pentacles is great. Everyone wants the Ten of Pentacles in a reading. It's a very happy indicator when it comes to um, everything, really. Love, life, relationships. Um, yeah. No, it's with the High Priestess. The High Priestess can mean that you're in a phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. This card is tied to the moon, femininity, inspiration. It's a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. It's also important that you pay attention to any dreams that you have. If you keep a dream diary or a journal, it's going to be a really, really good idea. Yeah, High Priestess, um, it's a magical, mystical time for love if you're interested. Um, you could find people literally throwing themselves at you as a High Priestess. But the, pro the problem with that is that You'll attract all kinds, the good, the bad, the ugly, and it's not always easy to tell which is which. So, yeah, Gemini, coming up, Ten of Pentacles, clarified by this high priestess. Well, what do you know? Mr. or Mrs. Judgmental, it looks like they've had a had a, a change of heart yeah um, I don't know what you're doing now Gemini but for some reason they're more attracted to you coming up I don't know did you buy a new wardrobe did you get a new hairstyle did you have plastic surgery I don't know what you did but they're they're really feeling you coming up Yeah, they they feel like you're sitting really pretty. Mm -hmm. Very attracted to you coming up. Um, that's all they see is your beauty, your good looks. And if it's not your outer beauty, they could be attracted to your soul, your inner. As a high priestess. So yeah, like before, all they could do was pass judgment, but now it, things are different. This person could be trying to get commitment out of you. Yeah, they could be asked. The Ten of Pentacles can be about wanting a second chance, marriage, commitment. Ten of Pentacles, just a little side note about this Ten of Pentacles. Like I said, everyone wants the Ten of Pentacles in a reading. Ten of Pentacles can mean a lot of money. So, I don't know, maybe <clears throat> if you two are living together, maybe you'll find a money tree in the backyard. I don't know, but this is absolutely wonderful for what's coming up. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, your person wants it all with you. Now they see, they're seeing, they're seeing you in a different light for some reason. I don't know what you did. But they're ready now. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. Okay, we got the Ten of Swords. And it's with the Five of Pentacles. Now, the Ten of Swords is actually a sign to be careful about where you put your trust when the Ten comes up in relation to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you. Or trust that a situation is stable. Well, as you can see by looking at the picture, it's a pretty clear answer of no. So, try to keep in mind, whenever a door closes, another door opens, you're being guided to a situation that's better for you. So, trust yourself. Trust the universe. Now, to the Five of Pentacles. With this card, you could feel, well, actually, it can point to a time when life is feeling less than secure. But the important thing to remember is that there's always help available when we need it from forces seen and unseen. You may feel alone, but you have the capacity to change that. 
reach out. You could feel like you're being left out in the cold, as though everyone else in the world has everything, and you are the only one suffering. Just realize this is not the case. Do the best you can with what you have. But remember, the wise thing to do is if you need help is to go out and ask for it. Because the help that you need will come. So, your challenge, Gemini. Ten of Swords, clarified by Five of Pentacles. Like I say, your person is ready now. For some reason, they're seeing you differently. Yeah, they're seeing you in a, in a, in a, in a beautiful way. Um, but, but, you're not trusting that the connection is stable enough. You were at one point when they weren't ready, but now that they're ready, you're not trusting the connection. I'm getting for a lot of you, sometimes your person makes you feel left out in the cold. And it could have something to do with the fact that they're the type of person they are. Very judgmental. And they don't offer forgiveness. Or it could be some other things that they're doing. And it makes you feel... Um, less than secure in the connection. Yeah, and you just don't trust that the connection is stable enough to to, to have it all. Or to want to go to the next level with this person anymore. At one point you did, but now you don't. And now they're ready. Now they want you more than ever. But you don't like the way that they make you feel unhappy sometimes. And it just makes you feel... Yeah, left out in the cold. That's what the Five of Pentacles is about. You think if you did... Um, go for a commitment or marriage with this person now... You feel like it would be a flop. You feel like it would be a failure. Or it would just fall apart. Yeah. That's how you feel now. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. Okay, so we got the Four of Cups. And we got the Three of Pentacles. <coughs> now the Four of Cups... <coughs> can be a card about wishful thinking. It warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now and count your many blessings that we each currently experience and not to worry too much about what could be because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So be sure you're counting your blessings. Don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. Because a lot of life, it actually has to do with where we put our focus. So try to put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. Now, it's with the Three of Pentacles, which is a very positive card in the tarot, especially when it comes to work, career questions. But it's a really good overall card in the deck. It means that you're doing well. The Three of Pentacles tells you that the people around you, they appreciate you and your efforts, and they notice the quality of work you do. Even if you don't get paid for it, it tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're, you're on track. There could be some room for improvement, but you will not have to scrap something and then start again. You will not. So, Gemini coming up, Four of Cups, clarified by... Um, the Three of Pentacles for the outcome. So, yeah, your person, um, they see that you're not jumping for the opportunity for commitment or something more serious with them. 
it could be anything like living together or, I mean, moving in together or just getting closer together. They, they feel that, they feel your energy is not really into it anymore. Now that they're ready. Um, so, they feel like, they could feel like this Four of Cups. The Four of Cups, um, has regrets. Yeah. But you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm picking up that the both of you have regrets, though. Yeah, because you're not... The Four of Cups, can, let me tell you, the Four of Cups can be about feeling rejected. It can be about not accepting what someone is offering you. It can be about feeling devalued. It can be about feeling unloved. And I'm getting this is a mix of how you're feeling this way and your person is feeling this way. So I think the both of you have some of these feelings. And so the both of you have regrets. So it looks like, it looks like with this Three of Pentacles here, um, it's, it's indicating that because I'm, I'm feeling that both of you have the Four, four of Cups energy, um, feeling rejected, devalued, unloved, you're not accepting their offer now, and at one point they didn't accept your offer. So the Three of Pentacles is telling you that now it's going to take teamwork, collaboration, just to pull this connection back to a healthy place. Yeah, because the Three of Pentacles, the card below the word outcome. This man, he's standing up. He's showing these people that are at his at his feet um, what he's doing. And they're impressed. They're like, wow. So I'm, I'm getting the both of you. They're going to have to put in that type of energy. It's going to be have to have to be teamwork. Like you're going to have to do things to impress your person. And they're going to have to do things to impress you. Just to get it back to a, uh, um, a, a point whereas you want something serious. And they want something serious at the same time. Yeah. It's hard to get two people on the same page at the same time. But it looks like there's just some work that needs to be done. Like I said, the Three of Pentacles can be about teamwork, collaboration. Um, you, you showing your person... Um, why they shouldn't be so judgmental or getting them to um, believe they're wrong for being judgmental and them showing you something. You both need to show each other something. I don't see, I don't know what it is, but it's like tr trying to have to convince. Yeah, that's the word I'm trying trying to get. There's there's um, some convincing that needs to be done on both parts, both part on your side and your person's side. Yeah, because um, you two are not on the same page. Yeah, there's some feelings of of this four of cups. Four of Cups is, yeah, just like wishing things were different. And right now you two are not on the same page. So, yeah, things could change. That's what the Three of Pentacles is saying. But you have to show them something and they need to show you something. Whatever that might be. But, Gemini, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope I wasn't saying Taurus, because I just finished Taurus, and Taurus, it kept staying in my head while I was talking, so if I said Taurus, this is definitely not a Taurus reading. I finished that one before this, 
Gemini. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario? And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Jim and I, thank you so much for watching. I can never say it enough. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. And with all the crazy going on in the news. Stay strong, take care, come back and join me for the next Gemini reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, family member, co-worker, could be a situation. Just set the readings for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings, they're not personal readings. And yes, the roles of the people can be switched, meaning you could be them or they could be you. They can be reversed, yes. So Gemini, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.